Hi there, I'm Peter, and in this new video from Verity Medical, I shall be teaching you all about ETS and what it can do for you. ETS stands for Electromyography Triggered Stimulation. Using a combination of EMG and TENS, it is designed to rehabilitate those who have suffered from strokes, weak muscle groups, and a variety of other conditions. After a stroke, many find it difficult or even impossible to use certain muscles again. Imagine that your nervous system is like a massive road system. Your nerve endings send electrical signals to receptors in the brain that then translate this information in a variety of ways. Pain, cold, tickling. After a stroke, these roads that the electrical signals use to travel might be damaged or blocked off for a variety of reasons. This can inhibit your sense of feeling in the afflicted area and can even prevent you from moving it. Here is where we come in. One of the functions of the MyPlus range of devices is ETS. By placing electrodes over the afflicted area, for this example, an arm, the device can read the level of contraction as a result of electrical impulses from the brain, which orders the muscle to contract. The level of contraction is displayed on the screen of the device as a bar graph, so you can see exactly what is happening. Even if the impulse is so tiny the muscle doesn't contract, the unit will pick up the motor neuron spikes, and this will be the first sign of improvement. On a healthy person, when their muscles are contracted, the bar graph should shoot up and display on the screen the exact level of contraction. However, on a stroke sufferer, the reading will be weak or almost non-existent. This is the EMG phase of ETS. Your physician will set you a target to achieve by your voluntary contraction. You can try and test to see if you can reach the target, but in the majority of cases it's almost as though the muscles have forgotten how to work. And then the stimulation kicks in. Electric signals are pulsed through the muscle, forcing it to contract. Using biofeedback methods such as the bar graph and the sound emitted by the device, slowly but surely you can teach your muscles how to work again. ETS technology isn't just limited to stroke victims. One of the most popular uses of this technology is for women after giving birth. Many women find that after childbirth their pelvic floor and vaginal muscles are severely numb and weakened. By using ETS, we can help you learn how to take control of those muscles again. Actually using ETS on the Maya Plus 2 is incredibly simple. An ETS session works in a very similar way to EMG. You have a number of voluntary contractions and relaxations to do before the unit displays your biofeedback and muscle response. The unit also helps to keep the muscles contracted with stimulation. You can place your unit on the table. Remember to use the reference wire. Right now, you should be able to relax between two microvolts. Press the auto button to start setting the threshold automatically. After pressing the auto button, contract for three seconds as much as you can. This will allow the unit to adjust the initial level of threshold automatically. You can repeat this step until you feel comfortable with the threshold. You know you have it right when it's hard but possible to contract enough to get the bar graph to the top. The ETS session starts with increasing the milliamps until you feel the device contracting your muscles, but without it being uncomfortable. When the level of stimulation is set, the unit will prompt you to relax. Here, try to relax below the threshold so that the EMG reading is below 4 microvolts, which is an indication of good relaxation. When you see the arrow go up, you should contract. As soon as you reach the threshold, the arrow in the middle of the bar graph, the stimulation appears. This is to help you keep contracting. This also sends valuable information back to the brain to reroute the damaged connection. Using this proven technology, there is a constantly growing number of people around the world right now learning again how to use muscles that might never have been used again. For more information about the Maya Plus 2, click here. 
Thank you for watching.